Now to the presidential race and a disastrous moment for Texas Governor Rick Perry during last night's GOP debate. We're going to talk to him in just a moment, but first, let's take a look at what happened. And I will tell you, it's three agencies of government when I get there that are gone. Commerce, education, and the, uh, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. <laughs> Com five. Oh, five. Yeah, okay. So five. commerce, education, and uh, the... Um, um, uh, EPA? EPA. There you go. No, okay. Let's talk. Let's talk deposition. Seriously? Um, is EPA no. the one you were talking about? Or? No, sir. No, sir. We were talking about the... Um, agencies of government. EPA needs to be rebuilt. But There's you no can't, doubt about but you that. You can't name the third one. The third agency of government. Yeah. I would. I would do away with the education, uh, the uh, <laughs> commerce. I, I, commerce, and let's see. Oh I can't. The third one. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Yep. Perry is now with us this morning. Governor, good morning. It's nice to see you smiling. <laughs> And anyone who has uh, yes, been through one of these things, anyone who has spoken in public and has lost his or her train of thought can feel your pain. Can you describe what happened and what were your emotions in front of millions of people when you lost your train of thought? I, I will tell you, I, I, I don't mind saying clearly that I stepped in it last night, but I think I'm kind of like most Americans, and, and uh, there's so many agencies of government out there we'd like to forget that uh, the Department of Energy was one of those. So, uh, But, you know, seriously, um, the, the issue wasn't about whether I can uh, sing off a line of a uh, number of agencies. Uh, it, it truly gets to the core of the matter of the, we've got so much government out there, and, and people are so uh, tired of, of government telling them how to uh, do this, what light bulb to buy, what uh, car standards they're going to have for uh, fuel efficiency, etc. Yeah. Uh, going through that long list of, of, of government agencies uh, is really what this campaign is all about. You know, and so. Uh, I'm human like everyone else. You know this morning the reaction, Governor, has not been kind. A former aide to George W. Bush told the New York Times your stumble was the, quote, human equivalent of the shuttle Challenger, and one of your fundraisers told the Wall Street Journal simply he just ended his campaign. Have you thought about ending your campaign? Are you staying in this race, sir? Uh, and you know what today is? It's the 236th birthday of the United States Marine Corps. If there was a day to uh, to, to stay in a fight, this is it. So uh, you bet I'm going to continue on. And, and this campaign uh, is about ideas. It's not about who's the slickest debater or whether anyone's made a mistake or not. We're all going to make mistakes. Are you going to be doing uh, any other debates, It's about sir? laying out our vision. Are you going to be doing Oh, absolutely. Any we'll be in South Carolina on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about something that Herman Cain said last night. He actually came to your defense saying the American people can be very forgiving. And this is from the man who once blamed your campaign for leaking the story about these sexual harassment allegations against him. So for the record, did you or anyone in your campaign leak this story about sexual allegations against Herman Cain? Absolutely not. And, and I asked my campaign, and once that was said, and uh, clearly, uh, I have no idea where that came from, but it didn't come from my campaign. All right. And I want to give you a chance for, uh, to respond to or at least tell the people who are possibly going to talk about you on SNL this weekend, Saturday Night Live. They may actually have something to say about what happened this week, as they often do. That's how things go. Do you have any message I'm for the writers? I do. Listen, I hope they get uh, I hope they get the agencies right. As a matter of fact, if they'll go to rickperry.org, they can uh, participate as well and pick which one of those federal agencies they'd like to get rid of as well. All right. Well, you're smiling this morning. That's usually how we get through tough times. Texas Governor Rick Perry, thank you so much.